Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the special episode of the podcast, um, where it's it's it is the Doctor Who day, so it's the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who, um, and I'm joined with Paul McGann, um, the Eighth Doctor. So, Paul, thank you for for joining me today. What a pleasure, Mason. I'm the Doctor. Oh, I'm a Doctor, <laughs> but probably not the one you were expecting. There you go. <laughs> or is it I'm the Doctor? Oh no, no, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> yeah, the doctor. <laughs> I'm the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's great to have you on because um me 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 and Paul met only the other day as we're recording this um at a um at, at the space center in uh, mm. in in the con- at the convention. It was really nice to see you, Paul. Like to 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 meet you. It was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that place has got a. Uh, we like it. I mean, I said we, you know, the, the old the old boy band, the Doctors, and and our gang. We like it because it's it's a lovely mix of, of science fiction and science fact. You know, you got people obviously people are staff there that you know are into both, know a lot about, about um, proper science, and the, and so the mixture of people um, it makes for a really good atmosphere. And, you know, then and their charity dues, and it's something that we enjoy. You know. And it's one of those shows where, as well, you know, rather than you know, sometimes, obviously, we do big shows which are kind of loud and it's difficult to almost hear yourself think. But Leicester, particularly, is one where, you know, like when we met, you know, you can sit and talk and you can, you know, you can hear yourself think. It's nice. I, pre- yeah. I like that. I yeah. prefer those. Yeah, I, I, I do like that about you because, like, you, you can actually like um like have a little talk. It's not really rushed, where you can like we can have, we, like, mm. like, like like we had a we had, we had a nice conversation, like for a few minutes. Um and 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 sometimes at, at, at maybe like you say larger things that like you don't really have that amount of time. It's it's like you you get your stuff signed or have your photo and then and then yeah. Well, that's what it should be like, shouldn't it? I mean, and if I if if I, if if I were going to one of the shows rather than being at them i would wish them to be like that you know if you want to meet people you want to get a chance to you know spend a few minutes and have a little talk about things i really enjoy that i you know it's sociable aside from anything else that's what i like about it yeah. you know it's funny now it's trying to think back as well well actually i remember quite well you know that in the years after i first played the doctor and was involved in doctor who even thinking about First, first of all, hearing about and then thinking about these sh- shows, these conventions, and these 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 events, the idea of them uh, made me a bit nervous. I know Chris Eck found the same until recently. You know, he's only just recently started uh, in the last couple of years started going to the shows. But I, I remember that. I can remember that period where th- thinking, why would I want to do that? You know, it's going to be it's too much. You know, because we you know we we're, we're shy as well. You know, yeah. maybe. You, it's easy to forget me performers are like everybody else you know they, they're a little bit shy sometimes and you know not perhaps not even that sociable but i remember thinking core oh, no that sounds mad um and being slightly wary of the idea of the likes of yourself and hundreds of others you know wanting to but then the reality as soon as yeah, I remember as soon as I did one, I thought, oh, no, no, I was completely wrong. This is great, you know. Yeah. People dressing up and people having a hoot. Um, you know, the spirit was fantastic. Like I say, it was really sociable and friendly. And almost immediately, I really was into it. You know, I do. I genuinely enjoy doing them. I don't do many, but the ones that I do, I really, I really like. And let me say, if anything, I probably shy away instinctively from the the very big ones. For, for uh, for that reason, you know that that you that they're a little bit too mad. Yeah, like I I've only started going to them this year. Um, like oh wow, I thought yeah. you've been going years. No, no, it's it's only been this year because um, like I've I've only like gone to maybe the smaller ones. I haven't gone to any of the the larger ones because like um like like on the one I went to um because of my crimes that makes me like severely even though compromised. And there's very, there's very, there's not many of us around that have mm. that. Um, it's it, it's it's very rare, you know. Um, and um, so what what I had to do is that at the convention I had to ask 
if I can, if there can be a way I, I can just see the people I want to see, like because I I wore a lanyard saying I'm in no compromise. So in the mm. queue, it like in the queue for you uh, actually, uh, because I, I asked the staff if, if, if there a way, and they said uh, that they actually said Paul McGann's queue is very long, so it might be hard. But I but I had a, a letter and every like a note, so I it's the reason why I was wearing a mask until I got to like you and uh, right. the other doctors as well. And that's also the reason um, um, at the end, like, you know, when we was doing the photos, like at the yeah. TARDIS, yeah. That, that's why I did it one by one because I, I would have been waiting for everyone else to go past, um, which would have been too risky for me. So that, that's why I had all you doctors having a photo with me one after the other. That kind of that. No, I, I, no I'm glad you, right, right. Because at the time, just what with, what was going on i didn't get that i didn't yeah. although we spoke briefly yeah um you know we didn't have time for you to explain like you've just explained so now i get it now i understand yeah. um and so your condition or is pretty rare yeah. i mean i well, well it's rare enough that i've never met or talked to anybody uh, with this condition so um you know despite having done all these shows and Everything. So practically speaking, when you go to events where there are crowds, that's how you have to uh, conduct yourself, right? That's how you yeah. need to, that's how things need to be. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's right. And not all staff can be, like, it has to maybe go on a little bit to people just so they understand, like... So they get uh, it. Yeah, like, um, like, even at the one where, at the Leicester one, I, st I still... Like I, I, they, they, I, I still had to show my. I had to go to people on the line saying, "I'm, I'm not pushing in. It's just because I'm severely in no compromise, mm. um, and I just want to see them, and I'll go now, and I'll be out of your way." Um, and then, yeah, it, 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 is, it is really hard to explain to people because people just don't like understand, um, and like because since the since the last couple of years, <laughs> I haven't really done much, you know, mm. like I, I, like. In, in Sorry. In respect of what? We, we go out, you mean? Go out and... Um, yeah, like mix with people too, because mm. COVID hasn't helped, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't helped. There's an understatement. Yeah. 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 Um, so... But, but going back even further, you say, you know, it's only recently you've been even going to these um, yeah. conventions and stuff. Yeah. But, so, so prior to that, in the years, say in the last five years or more, it's for that reason. It, it's always that even pre-COVID, it was always a consideration that you needed to, yeah. you know, you needed to to, to follow. Yeah, uh, I suppose as well. You know, we talk about the staff. You know, it, it would depend on the level of staff training, wouldn't yeah, it? That's uh, right. Yeah. Wherever wherever you are, uh, I guess for you, you must have found in your experience that some places are better than others. Some staff are um you know more receptive or better trained than in other places yeah yeah i mean going forward what do you think i mean have you found not cheats or ways around it but have you found that there that that, that there there might be a way that you can attend more things or or is it or, you, or, or is it going to be you're going to have to keep it at the level you've you know yeah. going out i mean and going to these yeah. events um is it going to be pretty much like it's been for a few years you um, the like, uh, the occasional one for you i think i think it's all about like i still have to do things i still don't have a life really like it's been too isolated for a long time um and like going to these first two they have been really fun because like like you get to meet yeah. people that that, that yeah. you've that you've seen and that you that, that you've really liked and i don't think until you meet that person like 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 you as well paul like mm. um like how 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 kind they can be because like every every person is different like you, you they, everyone has a different personality like um some may be like like, like you say it's very overwhelming like in, in an apt point of view like the amount of people you see a day like when, when, when you're there like it must be really like overwhelming because of how many people you see and how many it can be yeah it can be and it can be really almost uniquely knackering, um, <laughs> to be honest. You know, there's times I've gone back to, say, a hotel, if we were in a hotel, you know, you, after a day of, 
after a day like that and you know you put your head on the pillow and it's like um all you see is kind of faces or flash bulbs or you know um it's almost corny but but i i always put it down to well it's an energy you know you're in a way you're you not only the energy of the, the, the those kinds of shows there's a really good spirit and a lot of energy you know people dressing up and people performing and people you know all gathering that it's just a and it's it's a it's a it's a very energetic thing and when you're sat like we are um say you know we we, we sit at these for, for people that perhaps haven't been to one you know you might get uh guests you know sat at trestle tables and lines of people come and meet them at the table and and then and and it gets repetitive naturally but and but you get from where i am you get sort of bombarded in a good way as well you know it's bombard- <laughs> the, the energy is kind of coming at you and um and and if you're if you're not sort of up to it it can be slightly overwhelming like i say you could probably tell i yeah. when we met you know i i like it i enjoy it and you know you got to respond in kind but at the end of the day i can hardly you know i can hardly yeah. breathe it's fantastic you know, yeah. but I, like I say, it's a, in a good way. It's enjoyable, you know? but um, and it's the kind of energy, particularly where fans are concerned, fans of something, you know, and you're you're sharing things. We're fans too, don't forget. You know, most perf- yeah. all the all the performers and the guests are fans. You know, um, and, and and again, it's that lovely tiredness of of just having had a of having had a party actually. That's the feeling of it. That's what that when they're when they're at their best. That's what it's like. That's what the feeling is like. Yeah. Which is why I really enjoy it. Yeah. It's, and it, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's it's good that you do enjoy it because like like people are coming to see you, aren't they? Like they they they'll they come to see you. Um. And well, they're coming to see the doctor. Yeah, they come and see the doctor. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. This is there we go right and no, this is the yeah. territory. Uh, you know. Um. It, are they coming to see whether it's me or McCoy or whoever or Chris Eck or Jody Whittaker? You know, is it is it Jody or Paul McGann or whoever they're coming to see, or is it the character? You know, or is it a kind of nice mixture of both? Perhaps that's what it is. You know, yeah. Um, I only ask the question because, in fact, you can you can try and answer that for me. You know, because you're on the other side of the table, so to speak. It's not me. You don't know me, but you know, right. you know the character. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like speaking in a, in a certain like before, like before I went to see like the doctors, um, like mm. at, at that event, it was like, like, like you're completely right. You don't like we we we, we didn't know each other before the event, um, and um, I, <laughs> in a sense, yeah, I, I you are coming to the doctor. But now, oh. but now I've seen you, Paul. I'll come and see you again. Not, not, not because you're the because you're the doctor, but as well because you're just really nice and like you can have a nice conversation. I'll just come to you to see you again, just have a conversation with you. Well, that's that's great you to hear. Yeah. So it works. Yeah, it does. And when we get there, and it works. I like that because it's like you say. Um, I suppose I, I I raise the point because from time to time in these in these crowds and in these lines um you you get the occasional person who is who might be completely consumed by it you know i I mean a a real say a fan a fan almost doesn't do it justice but somebody that almost with like a phd knowledge of the whole mythology to whom for some reason for some personal reason it means a great deal, um, and and I suppose to, I suppose I haven't done a few now, a few of these shows. You 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 get better at learning to spot them even before they quite reach you. Where it might be, a, there might be a situation where you know that when that person gets to you and you speak, you may have to devote a little more time. It might even be the case that. Uh, which has happened on occasion that um, I said, look, come around here, come and sit here a second. And and that person might, it might be better to take that person aside and have a word and, and, um, and, and speak with them and be with them just, 
because that you usually there's something like you, I hear things like that person might say, "Well, if it hadn't have been for you, you know, they sometimes preface what they tell me with that, and there's something's happened. There's some thing that's happened." Um, meaning that it this means a really it's more than you know what i'm trying to say it's more than just someone who who digs it a little bit and yeah i'll just sign a photo and i watched the last you know i mean there's fans and then there's people there are people to whom for something for the stories the character not me but the character and the, it means re, it means a lot and i and i'm always knocked out by that um and like i say I, as well as trying to give that person whoever they might be a little bit more time and sometimes they find it difficult to speak even that there's something something's happened um something personal like i say um it's always worth it you know it's always worth it i like that um yeah. but but again it's to me it speaks about the i suppose the power of stories that's what it's about isn't it the power of myths and the power of you know in this case say science fiction or the character of a doctor or the, the nature of all this stuff you know it speaks to people yeah. it really speaks to people that's why we're all fans yeah. you know and it speaks to people on different levels and to, to different degrees but um you know they're all there they're all like you say you know it's, 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 there's different types there people with different temperaments and yeah. different tolerances even but yeah yeah like i about well, like all the, let's say, uh, I've met six doctors at this moment in time, <laughs> probably half of them. Um, yeah, half of the living ones. Yeah, yeah, half, yeah, yeah. Half, the, half the living ones, yeah. Have you met Jodie Whittaker? No, I haven't, no, I haven't. No, no, neither have I. I, can, it's, uh, I, I mean, wish. No, no I wish. No. Yeah. And madly, I mean, I went, you know, I did the episode, you know. The, yeah, with her, yeah. You know, I did an episode, yeah. but And that was a bit disappointing. They took me there and just a car just to shoot... You know, I just shot it in a day, and she wasn't there. I thought she might be there. You never really know until you get there, you know, who's around. Um, so I was a bit disappointed because I'm dying to meet her. That's yeah. what I mean, man. We're all, you know, like I said, we're all fans. Yeah. I'm a fan of hers, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know that if I, if I did meet her, I'd be a little bit, you know, yeah, a little bit starstruck, probably. Yeah. Like, um, so when you shot your scene for The Power mm. of the Doctor, was that just you talking, like, to yourself, really? Is that how it, what it was like? Who was there? Um, no, we don't want to ruin the illusion for people. It's probably... You know, people can handle it, can't they? When I got there, Janet Fielding was there, actually. She was there, present. Jodie wasn't. None of the other the doctors were present. Um, Janet happened to be there because she was doing some scenes in the afternoon. Um, but, of course, it was green screen and different effects. So, you know, you had a full studio with a crew... But I was tending to say my lines to a bit of masking tape on a pole. <laughs> sorry, sorry, folks. <laughs> that's, just, that's just sometimes how it is. That's sometimes, I know it kills the romance, but you got to learn to do it. You know, just look that masking tape in the eye and just mean what you say. That's how sometimes it is. Yeah. That's what I had to do. I'm yeah. trying not to look too disappointed. Yeah, anyway, that's that. That's the story, and then you, you know you're in, and then you're out. You know, um, I guess that's one of the not. The, it's one of the slight downsides of doing sci-fi. Is sometimes you you know the the, the green screeny stuff, which looks great, always. You know, now they've 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 sort of perfected it in CGI and everything else. Um, but on occasionally for us, we we. I just say we'd prefer it, obviously, if there was a living human being hitting yeah. the ball back, you know, saying the lines. That would be nice from time yeah. to time. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm not. I don't really believe in what's yeah. the lifting the veil. You know. Yeah. So when so when the episode aired, what, hmm. Was you informed like closer to the time where where you shot everything? Was that like near where the episode was out? Like when you mean informed about what? Informed about like like, like well, when you did your scenes? Was that mm. was that what, what was that close to when the episode aired? Or pretty close, yeah, pretty pretty close. Just a matter of a few weeks, which is typical. I mean, that's typical. 
um, it's typical of showbiz and certainly typical of TV and film. Um, not always, but 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 generally the thing is we, uh, they, uh, that is the performers, we tend to get to know that something's going to happen just before it happens. It's sometimes a question of availability, obviously, who's around. If you're not around, you're not going to be in it. Um, it's they might ring you on a Wednesday and you might be shooting on the Monday, the following Monday kind of thing. I mean, that's, that's, that's how it happens. Um, so yeah, we got to shoot that. I got to know about it and then to shoot it and then for it to go out all within a few weeks. And again, that's, we're, we're used to that, which also, I suppose, in, uh, makes you think that, or should make you think that next time you hear like, a rumor. Hey, listen, I've heard this rumor, you know, that in six months time or nine months time, they're going to be doing this. Gen don't listen to them because really that's usually not how things work. Uh, not, not for us. You know, we don't know people, you know, as you'd expect, you know, it's the 60th yeah. and people were asking or are asking, Oh, what do you, you know, can you tell us anything? You know, what any secrets, what's you know, have you shot something, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um and we don't know either. Which is the which is the answer. That's how it is, that's how it works. Yeah. You won't know until like like, like you say, pr probably very close to when it would end. Almost the last minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, almost the last minute. Like everybody else. I don't know, I, I I suppose as well for if if your job is if you're the company and your job is to maintain a little bit of secrecy for you know as you say you want to keep a surprise or you want to keep stuff under wraps or you want to keep something private then you can see why they do it like that yeah you know, obviously you know the longer lead time you get the more people can find out and who wants stuff leaked you know we live in an age of spoilers and the like which kind of punctures the spirit a little bit i remember 10 years ago when we did uh you know when it was the 50th yeah yeah and um I did a day and we shot the, that night of the doctor uh, six minute thing. Yeah. Uh, which, which was intended was meant to go out with on November 22nd, 23rd with, with everything else, like a red button thing, but someone was going to leak it, you know, St and Stephen Moffat contacted me and said, look, I'm going to have to put it out now. It's going to, it went out about 10 days early because somebody had found it and was going to, put it out themselves you know and again that's probably by dint of it being on, on a bunch of hard drives and there's only so much secrecy you can you can have and handle and maintain um yeah and he said look and, he, and, he, and it was I, actually i know because it happens to be my birthday it was november 14th <laughs> yeah it was my birthday. He, said, he said to me he sent me a text and he said happy birthday he said, <laughs> he said i'm putting it out in an hour and it did and it went out you know so yeah. And that's you know so it's, that can happen as well and and I remember that because because the night of the doctor had whatever that interim was it had like a week or more to itself it was the only thing out for that week so it had millions of YouTube hits and got a lot of publicity and and in that way it was great but uh, yeah but oh, it's yeah. but it speaks of sort of you know you, you know you can you can understand why you can understand why sometimes. Sometimes they they're a little bit not precious, but uh, but but they need to guard the the secrecy of things because it's harder to make surprises now, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 one of those things that I I really like surprises, like in Doctor Who. Yeah, me too. And like like now it's the reason why they like when the Doctor when they have a new Doctor they, <laughs> or, or a new person they can't keep that as a secret because it's leaked and everything. And I would much yeah. prefer. You know, when you watch the regeneration of a doctor, not actually to know who it is, I would that like, would be amazing. Yeah, that, that that would be amazing. But you can't do that now because of how many things are leaked. Like, like, like a million people go to the like the the filming when when it's happening, um, yeah. and and everything. So like, but it was a good birthday present for you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was the best birthday present actually. Um, 
it was uh i was a bit shocked by it i, I, I mean no, well, i wasn't expecting it but it was it turned out to be a great birthday present you know yeah. people still talk about it to me you know people go, oh my god yeah, i was i was at work and so my, my mate said you know quick turn on the so and so look look what's happening you know um, uh, and of course and then people in different time zones you know we're, we're sort of consuming of it in different ways so i guess it swings and roundabouts you know if, if we can't have surprises or as many surprises anymore then you know we gain in other ways don't we yeah. really you know that Definitely. Um, I've got to ask Paul, but in the night of the doctor, when you're you're drinking, like, are you actually drinking water, or are you are you drinking something? Do you do you remember? So what would it be? Well, I don't remember exactly, but you mean when he takes the the draft, he takes yeah. the yeah. the poison. It would it would just have been water or yeah, black yeah. coffee or yeah. it might have been something that I asked for. Yeah. Um, but given that it was nine o'clock in the morning it was probably yeah. it probably was black coffee <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah 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 so, uh, it's a funny one isn't it you know people yeah. often say you know you took a drink and what was it what was in the glass you know yeah. oh, was that real alcohol or was that real whatever you know <laughs> uh and of course it never is you can't you, because you, you might have to do the thing 20 times so it can never be yeah yeah, yeah you're, it you're... could never be real anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But... I do um I do really like that scene though when you when, when you tell everyone to get out I think I think that's really good <laughs> like oh yeah. Uh, yeah oh yeah I thought it was a great bit of looking back at it nice of the doctor that is um the great it's the great strength of it um, yeah. was Moffat's writing yeah um, I mean what is it six and a half minutes long yeah. I mean I'm not a writer but if, if I can appreciate the skill it takes, you know, when, when you think what in six and a half minutes, I know he's a good writer and he's a lot of, but, but blimey, you know, you have that, uh, you have the f- initial surprise, you know, you have that, you have the, 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 the character cast, you have the cast character, you have that spaceship, the spaceship's going to crash. Then it's like, I'm a doctor, but, but not, not the one you're expecting. You get that reveal. Then you get the crash. Then, then, then you're on the planet with the sisters. Then you get that scene you've just talked about with the drink. He gets bored in the middle bring me knitting then you get the you know then he doesn't know he's dead then you get the sort of uh, the, the there's a regeneration before the end all in 6 minutes and you never feel like it's you're being rushed or it's too much or it's 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 a bit of genius imagine yeah. being able to do that yeah, yeah See, fantastic yeah. really it seems longer than it is, really. Um, well, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. a it's a wonder. It's a real wonder. Yeah. To be able to do that, um, yeah. I think. Yeah. Good on him. Was you surprised when you when you filmed that, like to to come back and do that? Was that a shock to you? I was really happy. It was a surprise. Yeah. 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 I'd I'd kind of given that it had been um, already twenty something years since I'd shot. What would it have been? Oh six, yeah. We, you know, getting on for twenty years since I'd shot anything. Um, I kind of quietly given up ever being asked back to get into the costume and to shoot something. So I was really, really pleased, really surprised. I was surprised. Um, there was a period um, for those who may not uh, know much about the Eighth Doctor, uh, which may be unlikely on this channel but you know we shot the what they call the movie the tv pilot in 96 then it was fully 10 years before the tv series resumed in 2005 um and then you know years after that i but when when the when it came back um that is on the bbc in 2005 part of me thought oh okay Right, I've heard it's coming back. Um, will they call me? Will I get? Will I be involved? Will Will the phone ring? Will the BBC call me? Will there be a regeneration? You know, oh, oh, now I'm hearing it's Christopher Eccleston. Will Will I get to shoot that? And it never happened. The phone never rang. Um, so, and I was disappointed. Yeah, it... um, as you would be. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking. Okay, all right, okay, and then and you know, but look, I'm an actor. You know, it's, that's how we live and work you know some things you get some things you don't you just do the next thing but but uh i was disappointed and and then then there was another then there was tenant then there was man and and so years on i'm thinking well 
it was good while it lasted, but no one's ever going to call me and ask me back to, you know, yeah. I'd given up. I had I'd pretty much given up. So Moffat really, it was a great birthday present, yeah. actually. It, you know, he made my day um, yeah. asking me to do it. Uh, and that's why people, I guess, were were as thrilled as they tell me they were, you know, to see here he is, he's back. He he, he was the one they were least expecting. Yeah. Um, and in a way, it's although it's taken years, so, and weirdly, you know, uh, even now, if you added up all the, the 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 minutes that I've shot Doctor Who, it's under two hours in yeah. since nineteen ninety six. It's nothing. The Eighth Doctor lives on audio, essentially. That's what I've done hundreds of them. You know, so, yeah. And he's alive and kicking on audio, but uh, so again, you know, uh, the episode with Jody, and you know, again a few minutes. It's it it thrills me, and I think it really it's a shot in the arm for people, isn't it? And it means that you know that it, it, it could because it remains a possibility. There might be more. Yeah. Um, there's always more. This is Doctor Who. You know, you can you can carry on. It's great. Yeah. It- so I'm, I've got. So listen, you know, I've got my fingers crossed. You know that, you know that they'll see fit or um, uh, Russell T. Particularly will will yeah. see fit to, you know, maybe include a few of us again. And you know, there's yeah. always a possibility, and it keeps us going. I I, I think so because Russell T. is is he's like the Shakespeare of Doctor Who, isn't he? Um, he he does so good and like um maybe that is a chance for because for you to to be more be involved and, and have your own little thing going maybe do you like, think do you think fans are generally happy that it's Russell T yeah I think they 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 must be mustn't they yeah yeah they are yeah they are very happy yeah I mean aside for me not even Doctor Who you know Russell. You know, because Russell has other things that he writes and he produces and and he makes. Um, he seems to know television and television audiences so well. He's brilliant at it. So, yeah. you know, really, I think that alone would make it should keep us optimistic and yeah. make us pleased. You know that he's back and he's in charge of it, and and he, of course, he's. A big, he's the biggest fan there is yeah. of Doctor Who. He loves it, yeah. you know. Well, I mean, I've got to say, that all the years that I've worked on it, I've been involved in it. I've I've always been amazed at how the people that have kept it going, that have looked after it, and been involved in it in in producing it, have have always been fans. Um, yeah, it's meant a lot to them. Yeah. It was, you know, it's been heartfelt. I think that's that's that really that's kept it, not just kept it alive when it needed keeping alive, but now as 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 given it back its place. You know, it's 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 resurgence. Um, it was always fans. Yeah, quite it, right too. It's really it really helps. Like like Doctor Who is one of those shows where like it's like for me it's like my comfort. Like just watching it, um, because I've I've watched it ever since the, the, I was five when it restarted again. So I, I, I who was who was the doctor then? Um, it was it was the ninth doctor, Crystal Eccleston. Wow. Um, so um, <laughs> like, like thinking about now, like 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 you say, um, like watching you on Doctor Who, like everything you've you've been involved in like i i i think it's it's a shame like at that time period where like it stopped because uh, you would you probably would have your own series like everyone else has um and that is the yeah. that that's the shame but well it's it is it's a shame in one sense it might it might have been a shame for me but here's another way of looking at it yeah a sort of what what well, it is a slight endorsed thing, you know, it's not a counterfactual, but but uh, all right, L- let's say that it happened differently. In 1996, that TV pilot, which is what that thing was, you know, a pilot's something that you make in the hope of going to a series. Imagine, okay, now it, it was successful, and now 
I get to make a series in 1996, 97 in North America. Yeah. Now, what would have happened? What would have happened? We might not even be talking about David Tennant. Well, I'm sure we would. He would have done other things I, as Matt Smith. And, but no, all that wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened in that way. I, I, sometimes you've got to be careful what you yeah. wish for. Things happen, I guess, for, for a, reason, a yeah. reason or how they're meant to happen. Um, you know, well, let's spend 30 seconds on it. All right, now I make a series... Now Doctor Who has moved now in 1997. Now it's moved lock, stock and barrel to North America. I make, I I belong to them for five years. I make five years worth of series. My kids are Canadians now. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? The world would have been different. Um, probably an, an American actor would have taken over from me or replaced me, whatever, if, as soon as they got rid of me. You know, so it would have been a... Yeah, you know, a different world yeah. might have been great, but you know, think about it. And it's, instead, no, we have it. It's back in England, and there's there's you as a five year old, and there's Chris Eck, and then there's David, and then there's Matt, and yeah, so on and so on. It things happen the way they happen. Yeah, I, I now I sound like a doctor, don't I? Yeah, you, you do, you don't you? You are the doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 keep I love doctor. humans. Yeah. <laughs> always seeing patterns in things that you know you know the rest yeah um but i think yeah like you say everything happens for a reason um like it, it is good in a way because we, we get the, like, <coughs> like for me it's one of my interests not to go to different doctor who locations around and um like especially the ones that are in cardiff where doctor who is normally filmed now um and yeah, yeah that, that, that that's something I like to do. It's like 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 you said before we started, Paul. Like, do I know all, all, everything about Doctor? Who? If if I asked you something, would you know it? And to answer that question, yeah, I I, I probably would. I I I, I, I probably <laughs> would know most things. Like, um, I'll talk about Doctor Who to someone who has no interest in it. <laughs> but mm-hmm. um, you, you need to watch this episode. Start it from there. Go go continue it, and then you you. You understand the concept, the context of it, and everything. Um, well, here's a question. For, here's, here's a question for you, then, for me. Um, imagine I'm someone that, for some reason, doesn't know it, has never seen it, mm. and you and me have just met, and we're sat in a cafe or whatever, or just for five minutes having a cup of tea, and you've got a few minutes to explain it. And maybe not sell them the idea, but explain what it is. What would you say to them? What would you say to someone that's never come across it? How would you explain it? Um, how are your love of your your love of it? I mean, how would you explain and and, and perhaps describe what this thing is? Yeah. Um, how I would say, how would I explain it? Is I'd say Doctor Who is different. It's not like every TV show you're going to watch. It's not like um, it's not like your your your, your casual Eastenders, your casual Coronation Street. It's it's different. Like it, it it's it's good because it's gone for sixty years this year. Mm. Um, and how I would, like I, how do I, I, I would explain? Watch one episode. Just watch one, and and tell me. Um, maybe start with Road with with with, with Christopher Eccleston. Watch that mm. and, and tell me what you think. If you don't like it, fair enough. I'll be surprised. Um, but if you do, what do you think? What do you think then? They would see, or what would you hope if they if they sat and watched that one app? What would you hope that they got from it? Would you? I mean, what is the appeal? Is it? All right. Let, oh, now, okay. I'm going to go and watch that app that you told me, right? And there's Chris, and there's Billy Piper. What, what am I looking for? What, am, what, what, what am I going to get from it? This is what this is what I need to know. Yeah. You're, 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 you're going to be like. You, it's almost like you're with that adventure, as at, at like. So at the end, nine tells Rose, "Come with me in the TARDIS." Yeah. Um, and then it's almost like you're going in the TARDIS too, with them, yeah. um, and it, you're already in dance on that uh, on that journey. Yeah. And then, and then you, you'll want to watch more. It's, it's almost like a fix. Like you, you like you, know, <laughs> you, you watch a series, 
And it's something that I wish, I, <laughs> like when Donna forgot her memory, I would love that to happen to me purely because I just watch it all again. <laughs> um, watch it all again and don't remember anything. Um, I love that. I, I love it when new people watch it and then you can, you just, I, I can't believe it though. Like it's, it's, some people haven't watched it. Um, and like my whole family watches it all the time. Like when, when mm-hmm. whenever it's on, like uh, when the Christmas specials were on and back this year as well, uh, it's the thing I love about it, uh, like because of my autism, Paul, I like things happening in a certain way. So when the Doctor Who, when Doctor Who used to be on Saturdays, I loved it. I always watched it on the Saturday night. But when it was on the Sunday, it didn't it didn't it wasn't that same appeal to me. It wasn't why uh, why what was different? Yeah, yeah, because it was different. Like with autism, difference and change can be hard. Uh, <laughs> and I always liked it to be at the, at the same on the Saturday because it. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, you, you knew you knew where it was. You knew what to yeah. expect. Yeah, and the, the thing yeah. about Sundays is, oh, we got work tomorrow's Monday. We go. Yeah. Uh, it's a Monday, but and then, like, because we, they got moved to New Year's, didn't they? With with Jody's run. Um, which I I didn't mind it. it. It was just because Christmas is more like you've you've always been used to Doctor Who being on Christmas. Like over over the years since the mm. revival, you've always been used to it. And then and it changed. It changes like, like the whole thing changes. And what about that? Well, there's there's a, there's a question. Um, considering your autism and the way you say you know that you sometimes you're a bit resistant to change or you don't like it. If um. I'm just guessing it, but if if Russell T decided, for example, to change the format, say the episodes, we, we you know the ones that we've been used to for the last ten years or so, you know, nearly an hour, so and so forth, you know, thirteen in a run kind of thing. If if Russell T decides to make a change for 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 tactical reasons, and say the episodes went to half an hour say say that changed hmm. would that would that kind of change rankle with you or would it bother you do you think or um that sort of thing when would that be a change that might annoy you or um it depends really on what the episode's like so if okay if it can fit everything in that 30 minutes I'll be okay with it, but I um. But if the, okay, but then if yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. If, if, if because you know, of course, as we know, back in the back in the the olden days, you know, the, the initial episodes are twenty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, with cliffhangers, they weren't. I remember them. You know, as a kid, I watched these episodes. Um, but I think we can expect that you know, in the next few years. You know the old, um, like I say, thirteen eps, and you know the whole. Uh, that will probably change. You might get two-hour specials, half-hour specials, whatever it is. But generally speaking, those kind of things don't bother you so much, right? I'm asking. Um, they don't. That, that wouldn't bother you so much. I as I, as as a change of day, say that used to bother you. Like Doctor Who, sixth anniversary. It's like uh, we're speaking of, of today, but it's actually in a weekday, so it wouldn't be on yeah. Saturday or Sunday. So, um, it's I am I'm more into interested like how how it's going to be, um, like at the moment Russell T is he, he's he's releasing load of cast announcements like it's got nearly every month, <laughs> um, yes. and and yeah. um, I'm going to speak about one of those cast announcements because uh, I could potentially be working with them on, on something else. Not 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 not, not to two, which I want to speak about. But in my mind, on my mind, is that I think there's about eight episodes in series fourteen. I think, yeah. um, and I'm wondering because all these different <laughs> cast, all these different cast people are getting involved, saying they're going to be in series fourteen, they're going to be in series fourteen. I'm wondering, does that mean possibly that Doctor Who the the series fourteen episode could be longer than maybe that we used to maybe like. 45 minutes we're used to maybe an hour right. probably because there's so many it's almost like loads of people in one series and mm. I don't think I don't think 45 minutes maybe would not be enough to maybe fit all, it could do Russell Davis is very good at that but maybe mm-hmm. they might move it a bit longer which I wouldn't mind I'm all for Doctor Who being longer but um, I just I, I don't want it 
to be. I, I wouldn't mind it was 30 minutes. It, anything of Doctor Who, I'm happy with. So long as it was good, like you yes. say, so long as it... Yes. Well, like we were talking before, you know, about Moffat's six and a half minute miracle, you know, with Night of the Doctor. It doesn't matter how short it is, how long it is, so long as it works, so long as it's yeah. good, as so long as the writing is good. Um, you know, that that's something, of course, that, you know, fans have their say about. Uh, I noticed, but, you know, mainly because I was paying attention during Chibnall's um, period, you know, that, that people, and t- to a certain extent, Moffat too, you know, fans have their say about the writing or the quality of the apps or the, you know, and, and rightly so, you know. I, so I think we're, we're, I think we're saying the same thing, aren't they? You know, so long as, who cares what it is, so yeah. long as it's good, um, so long as, you know, they're, they're engaging and, you know, um, and yeah. well written, actually. Yeah. I mean, even speaking as an actor, that's that's the that's the big deal, you know, because we, the actors, that is, you know, there's nothing better than well written. Well written is 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 everything you want. That's that's what you want. Um, yeah. You know, you don't want to. That's that's the best thing you can have because because it excites you. You know, because our job really is just to is to get the writing across. That's, you know, when the writing's good, it's great. It's, yeah. You know, it makes our, makes our job even more exciting. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's all about just being good. Like, um, not every episode is going to be maybe to your liking. Like, you might like... Quality. Me. Yeah. Quality, not quantity. Yeah. Like, so, so, yeah. like, you might like one more than another, but it's just, it's just, it's just a thing of Doctor Who. Like, it, it, it's just mm. really good. Um, but, the, 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 like, uh, a part of the called Lenny Rush, Rita got announced to be in series fourteen, and he he, he, mm. and he won he won a BAFTA, um, and I and and only a couple of weeks ago because I'm in I, I'm part of this like organisation called the Multi Schools Council, and what that is, Paul, is about like raising awareness of all sort of different things. Um, like it might be autism, it may be mm. Crohn's, it may be um lots of different other things. Um, it might be epilepsy, it it, it might be loads, of, uh, and there's all different groups that you're part of. And only a couple of weeks ago, um, Lenny Rush was uh, announced as an ambassador for the Mike Schools Council. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Um, and then only... Had you, had you spoken to him or had somebody gone in... Um, well, had the... you spoken to him about it? Do, um, do you know how he... Do you know how it happened? Um, well, I, because there's, there's, I think, over 100 ambassadors, like, it's on the main page, um, they... But they did all the announcements, like the leader, the one who yeah. yeah. made it all. And I was, I was, I was surprised, but I was also really happy. And a little did I, and little did I know that he's, he's going to be in Doctor Who, which makes me more, even more happier. Even, <laughs> yeah. Win win. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's great news. That's great yeah. news. Yeah. Good um, for Lenny, and yeah. good for you. Yeah, it, it it definitely is because like um like. I, I I would just talk to him, like I I I I would like to talk to him at some point if if you get the, if I if I do get the chance because if he's doing things he's a very busy person of course being in Doctor Who but um mm. just it's one of those things that doesn't come around like it's it's almost like a one in a lifetime opportunity really isn't it like when 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 you get oh, that right. call. When you get well, the- you know, Mason, if you you know if you find yourself in the same room as him, even if it's at a show, or, yeah. you know, um, don't hesitate. I'm sure you know. I'm sure he'd be he'd be thrilled to know it was you, and you know, know that he was you know, that he was making a difference and, and making you know making yeah. people happy. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's it is um, Doctor Who. Like I've, I, it would be nice to. To be involved in it somehow or something, but I know it's it, it's great just talking to people like yourself that have been in it and and like and just talking about it. Like when have you always been a fan of it for in before you you were the doctor? Uh, because I am I'm ancient now. I'm sixty odd. Um, not really ancient, but I remember when I was a kid at school. Uh, you know, my first Doctor was the first Doctor, Hartnell, mm-hmm. the one that David Bradley plays now. Um, and I can remember, I can remember it being on and being little and being sometimes scared by it. 
remember like the Yeti and stuff like that. I remember these things from back in the day um, and the different monsters and dialects. But in those days, um, there were only three television stations. Yeah. So everybody effectively watched everything. You watched everything. And, you, and people tended to watch, because telly was still quite new then, you know, quite a novelty. So families tended to watch stuff together. It was, you know, you know someone in a family get the pen out and ring stuff that was going to be on that night. Like, we're watching that and then that and then that and then that. You know, we're having our tea and we're going to watch this. So everybody saw everything. So um, I wouldn't say that I was a, I didn't have to be a fan. I wasn't a fan fan. I didn't sort of tell everybody, oh, wow, this is, you know, I'm a fan of this, but I watched it all the time. I can remember where uh, it would have gone out on a Thursday, I guess. And, you know, so every morning going into school on a Friday, the kids, everyone had seen it. And the previous night's episode, that kind of vibe. I can remember all that. Uh, and we knew it. But, um, but like I said, but we watched everything. So you were sort of fans of stuff without even trying if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I wasn't like a, I wouldn't say I was a, you know, I, I wouldn't have called myself a fan. And later on, and when, when I grew up and then when I was offered the, the, the role in um, 95, 96, when they were making the, the, the pilot, the movie, I was surprised. I was surprised to be offered it. I said, well, I didn't think I was, you know, I thought there was like a load of people in the queue before me who would have, who would have, would, would have been more suitable and were fans, incidentally. You know, like Capaldi is a, is a fan. Yeah, me and Peter yeah. around the same age. You know, there's plenty of them out there. I was like, well, why are you asking me kind of thing? Um, anyway, that's that's how it happened. But no, but I've I've since become a fan of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, for reasons that I've, I've spoke about earlier you know just join in the family and join you know yeah becoming part of the kind of universe of it seeing people keeping it going or because you know it's easy to particularly if you're not even old enough to remember or even if you are but i've may have maybe have forgotten it nearly didn't come back it there was a period where it really was finished and that's when that's the period i was first working on it you know what? What fans now call the wilderness years. Great title. Um, you know there was a real danger then, and it was never coming back. It, it, it had, it had, you know, it had. Um, even the BBC thought so. That's why they got rid of it in eighty nine. You know, it had run its course. It had had a good run. Um, so in a way, it's you know, it, it's enjoying a second life, and and let's hope it's perpetual. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. Yeah. Not that you can take. Not that you can take anything for granted. But now I'm a fan. Now I'm a fan. You know, for for all of those reasons, because I see what it means to people, and it's great to be involved. Just great to be involved in in anything like that. It's been a, one of the privileges of my life, actually, um, certainly yeah. my career. Yeah, it, so, it, really, it it must be like really just nice to, to say that I I I I'm 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 a doctor in Doctor Who. It just be like nice. Let's, let's, let's get around saying I'm, I'm a doctor. <laughs> You know what? It is. It is. It won't surprise you, but it is. And I remember McCoy saying to me, you know, when we when we when I first worked on it, McCoy was there. We shot a regeneration, you know, McCoy turned into me. Um and he was a mate anyway, he was an old mate. I've known him for years. Uh, you know, fantastic actor as well. But but I remember him saying right at the beginning to me, he said, Look, Paul, he said, This isn't Believe me, he said, you'll play loads of stuff in your life. He said, I have. I've played loads of characters and this and that. He said, there's nothing like this one. This one is different. This one will mean different things. It will just, it won't, it's not the same if you play the doctor. It's not like any other job you're going to do. It's just not, you know. And, I'm, and I'm, I remember saying, okay, okay, okay. And I was a bit nervous, you know, because I knew I was going to do it and take over from him. All of, all of the doctors have said that. You know, when you when you step into the when you when you play the doctor, when you first play the doctor, and and you're stepping into the shoes of the last person and the person before, you know, it's it's a bit nerve wracking. You've got to get your you've got to get your 
yeah. you've got to get your, you've got to get your nerve and get your feet under the table and, and try and make it your own this kind of thing um and McCoy could see that and he was right though he was right there's no there's no there's no other job like it and if, again for anyone that doesn't know my when I got that job in 95 96 my agent who got me the job was Janet Fielding Janet of course was Tegan yeah yeah she, she'd been an actor now she was an agent we'd never had the conversation it hadn't occurred to us in the years I'd known it prior to that that's how that happened so so Jan, there was so we're now we're, we're on the set or we're in Canada where we're going to film this thing and there's McCoy there's me there's Janet Janet's there um, and it really didn't dawn on me for a couple of days, uh, but but she's yeah. a, she's another part of the, my little story. Uh, I remember one night we were the, it might have been the first or the second night. You know, it was all because um, you know the movie is this story of you know it's like a ten minutes to midnight. You know, will they? Won't they? Um, you know, quick. You know, let's save the universe. It's all night shoots. We shot it in winter. It was dark all the time. So. We t we tended to shoot uh, at night, in the dark, and we were and the first couple of days we were, or nights we were out. We were in Vancouver. It was cold, January, really freezing cold. We were there. There's Janet. You know, Janet was there for the first few days, and there was a <laughs> there was a local we, one o'clock in the morning. We were in this street. Yeah, we were going to shoot the scene where McCoy's doctor is gunned down. Oh, you know, yeah. That's really we dramatic. There we are. And so there's people kind of milling around, local people, and want to see what we were doing, as you as you as you would. And there was this young lad, he could have only been 19 or 20. And anyway, now we're talking to him. He talked to McCoy. I'm having a word with him. He, he said he was a university student, maybe he was a student. And as he's talking to me, I can see him looking over my shoulder at Janet. And it, and it dawned on him who it was. Um, again, this is unbeknownst to me. I didn't, I didn't made, I hadn't even made the connection really. And then he, a minute later, he was talking to Janet. Yeah. And and he did that thing he, that fans, some fans can do. Uh, he told her everything she'd ever done, in order, kind of. You know, he did one of those kind. Of, oh yeah, and then you did this, and then it was that, and then after that episode is this, and I was amazed. I'd never heard anything like it. You know, I was I, I was a new boy. Anyway, then he then we had to shoot and he left. And then she looked at me and she said, Now do you get it? You know, yeah. now you understand. This is a, this is different. This is a different world. And I just laughed. And then uh, and next to me then was um was Daphne Ashbrook, who played Grace in it, American actor. Uh, never heard of Doctor Who in her life. Really? And she's on the yeah, and she's on the so so there was different sort of it was different, you know we were coming at it from different directions. Daphne and me that same night, Daphne sat with me and McCoy, you know you got those chairs, you know those chairs that were cliche chairs that actors sit in on the set, and she turned to McCoy and she said, "Can I ask a question?" He said, Any "Anything," and she said, "What is this? What even is this?" And she was shooting it. And um, and McCoy just laughed. He said, "How long have you got?" And as as it turned out, we had three nights. Yeah. Um, and he told her the story. And now, anyway, the upshot of that is now Daphne Ashbrook, and anyone you might have met that's ever met her will attest to it. She's among the biggest fans of Doctor Who you can you can find. She loves it, but you know, but Americans hardly knew it. So it was exciting. It was a good, it was an exciting period, but it was touch and go. Yeah. And it nearly, like I say, it nearly never happened. Um, but we're glad it did. I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled it did. Yeah. And it, what's more, you know, it, it became that thing we did. Now we can safely say, well, say with some confidence, you know, that, that it was part of it. It was part of what kept it alive, I think. It, it was good though. I don't think I'm exaggerating, but I, you know, yeah. I know I, well, I know because I'm not because Russell T himself said that, yeah, and he knows best. My mate Russell, he knows yeah. best, yeah, he, he it was part of it. Remember in uh, Night of the Doctor, of course, um, when that Moffat wrote, uh, 
as well to go off on a tangent slightly um i was asked to or the doctor lists the the, the big finish companions yeah. um you know there's a little roll call of uh companions in big finish you know and that was exciting in a way it's sort of like right, what the fantasy it canonized them or something it but it brings them in it brings them into the to the story and again that's one of the beauties of doctor who you know it's, it's all it's always that ongoing things get included people are arguing arguing the toss about stuff i love it and on these days that we meet and then these shows that we do you hear all kinds of opinions you know going back further i'm old enough to remember well they're still around you know, you see these books these novelizations you get the big finish audios you get the tv stuff you get this that, you know, different formats um it's one of the strengths of it and in a way some of the formats you might disagree but um like the they might they even possess or have slightly different takes on the history of it or the timelines of this or the and so it gets people arguing and but in the best way you know um arguing about the mythology it's fantastic yeah. there's lots of it yeah it's it's great like i the thing about i i, I love your tardis like that, that you had in the movie best tardis ever yeah, yeah like the console it's it's, it's <laughs> almost like just does room it's not it's not like every other tardis console that we've seen like, well there's a reason for that Nathan. There was no CGI then. Yeah, they had to make it. They had to build it. What you see is what you is is what was there. They had to physically in in a set. They had to build this thing. It went back to to, to the back wall of the studio. So you know the whole thing was. I just think that was the reason that you know, and it was big enough to run around, and it was a proper set. You know, nowadays you just sort of CGI this and put a window in there, and whatever, whatever. You know, and it would look lovely, but. You know, I think that's the. Re I agree with you. It's the best TARDIS ever. Yeah. Um, I'm biased. Yeah, I don't course. care. I don't care. But, but like I said, the, the 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 beauty of it for us was that it was a like I said, it was a proper working set. You know, with the staircase and the big rooms, and I remember my kids were, um, my kids were little then. You know, five six years old, and on the days that they'd come to visit, you know, when they got onto that set and they wanted to have a little play around in it. Uh filming had to stop. You know, for <laughs> ten minutes. Half an hour. You know, it's quite expensive. Anyway, uh, but I can remember that. Really good memories, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. It, it, like do, do, do you do you like your sonic screwdriver? Do you do you do you really like that one? Uh, well I have more than one of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do, I, I do, I adore it. And in fact, um, uh, in a few days, uh, I'm going to get a, you know, a prop, a prop version of, of that screwdriver of my own. Someone's making me another one, you know. It's lovely. I, again, it's one of the lovely spin offs of, of something like Doctor Who, is you get these cottage industries start, people making clothes, people making props, people making stuff. You know, you see them at the, you know, uh, stall holders have them. People, you can buy stuff online, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, on it goes. And I get, that that's what drives it. You know, people dress up in the gear, people. Um, but I love these toys. Um, the, you know, the, the steel looking one is the one I've, I'm going to get at the uh, next weekend. You know, some some man who's turned it himself, who's made it himself, is going to give it to me. Um, and... Uh, uh, but I was given another one, uh, you know, the wooden, the beautiful wooden, um, what's the word? Like the steampunky looking yeah. thing. Yeah. I, yeah. Was, I, I was given that in New Zealand. It was a, it was a surprise to me. I, I remember being, I'm almost tearing up. Uh, we went, I was away with McCoy and Peter Davison and uh, Colin. We were in uh, Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, and uh, when we were in Wellington in New Zealand, I went around the famous Weta workshops. You know, these are the, these are the mm -hmm. great prop makers for Peter Jackson, you know, and others. Mm -hmm. And we we did this tour. You know, you have to be invited. It was wonderful. I was thrilled. Mm -hmm. Saw some stuff here. Yeah, you got to sign an NDA. You know, you can't tell anybody what you've seen in there. And it's exciting. You know, you feel yeah. like a kid again. You're like a kid. and then, and as I was leaving, one of the chief prop makers there gave me that wooden. Sonic. Yeah. 
that he made for me. Oh, you know, yeah. um, I, 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 you couldn't have given me a better <laughs> present. Um, so I'm the proud possessor of well, some proper sonics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Come on, man. It, it opens every door in the universe. What's not to love? Yeah. Uh, when you like one yourself. Yeah. I, 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 I do love the solid screwdrivers in Doctor Who. <laughs> uh, that, that, they were, I'll just take them. I'll take them anywhere. Um, like, um, what, what, when I came in to see you, um, that 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 because that's something I like to do. Like I, I have my own page where I just do different Doctor Who videos about different scenes yeah. I like to do, yeah. and 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 that one I got was very new. Like it, it, it's, it, <laughs> it, it, it's the current one, the uh, the fourteenth one. Mm. Um, but but the problem was is Paul when I got it, um, it was it was way too long for me. Like the the, the trousers was going down my shoes, the the, the the coat were too big. But when I take it to the shop where they they, they make it a bit better for me, they they never heard of Doctor Who. They they they, they, they what? They never heard of it. I would change your tailor <laughs> if, if yeah. I were you. <laughs> Forthwith. Yeah. Yeah, but then and uh, you got to you see see we do we do what's called fitting. You got to do fitting. Yeah, you, know, you, you have to do fitting. Make sure it fits. You know, you get, you're yeah. going to get a costume there. Tell them I sent you. Next time you go, just yeah. tell them I sent you. I hope you sack them for not. Yeah. So, so did you have to fill them in? Did you have to tell them all about Doctor Who? And, um, well, I I mentioned. What, were they curious? Uh, well, they they I don't think well that I told them anyway if they weren't curious or not. But I, I literally said, do you know who David Tennant is? Because that that's who the fourteenth Doctor is. And it's oh yeah, I know who David Tennant is. So they know who David Tennant is, but I don't know what Doctor Who is. <laughs> yeah, no, I know him from he's he's in Broadchurch, yeah, you know, yeah. something that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I know. Tomorrow morning, while well, we're on this subject. You're the first person I've told. I'm being fitted. I'm going to a fitting for a Doctor Who costume. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get. I was a bit jealous because Peter Davison had his costume made, and he, he's he's taking it to. You know, he's doing photo shoots of the shows in this costume. He puts this costume. On. He's had it made by a tailor. You know, he's had it mocked up and made, and, and he takes it to the shows. And I was a bit jealous, so I thought, oh, I want to get mine made. Yeah. So I can't. I'm, I've contacted the same man, um, who who is making my one, and it'll be the one from the the the, the last episode, the Jody episode. Yeah, yeah. It's that it's that costume, um, and he's making it. And tomorrow, tomorrow, Ian, as we speak, um, I'm going to go for the final fitting. You know, yeah. I'm really excited. So it'll be ready in a week or two. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So it's so in 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 future. When we do the these shows, I'm going to take the costume with me. So when we do the photo shoots, I'm going to wear the gear. Yeah, do it, Paul. Come like, on, man. Yeah, I'm going to get into the proper spirit. The, the, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be a cosplayer. Yeah, like but, but that's what like you, you made me like after seeing you, um, like after seeing you at the convention and everything. Um, I, I think that you've made me want to cosplay you now. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my intention. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's a nice side effect, but it wasn't my yeah, intention. Yeah. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. Don't 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 fight it. Yeah. yeah. So when we go to uh, when I go to the convention, which uh, that you're at next, I'll um. Well, just let me know, and and and, yeah. and uh, we can meet up, and we can we can we can have a costume off. Yeah, we we, right? we, we can. Well, like, well, listen, man. You if you're if you're uh, if your costumes like too long in the leg and it doesn't fit you know you're gonna be you're gonna come second yeah you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get a proper fitting we're gonna have to yeah. sort you out aren't we yeah i'm, I'm gonna have make to make sure it fits but i'm i'm, I'm, go, I'm gonna have to choose one but you've got to get clothes to fit you this yeah. is a thing you know right, nowadays thing, it, yeah. yeah nowadays people don't really go for that but it's it makes such a difference when something fits you believe me when you fit you proper everything's dead right it feels so nice yeah you know, like, like um we'll have to sort you out we have to get this yeah, tailor to give yeah. you a fitting yeah i i because like i i order it like like the one i just got uh well, I feel, like, well it was all to go to that convention because i wanted to wear it to go mm. and like see you the doctors in it um, because it's it's, yeah. it's 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 like the sixtieth anniversary and everything, and then like um now for because the next time I see you, I I, I want to be in cosplay. I want to be I want to be the eighth doctor. I I want to be do it. I, I, I want to do be it. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Do it, and we can have a proper photograph taken of you and me. Yeah. yeah in the works. gear, I'd yeah. love that. I know I would yeah. love that. Yeah. So you know, so we, let do let's do let's keep in touch about that, and make that happen. Yeah. Um, you know, because it, I get, and in and in the meantime, we'll get your costume proper. You know, yeah. if I can help there, I will. You know, get get it sorted. Yeah. You know, get it whatever taken in or yeah. modified so it fits you because it would be great. You yeah. look amazing. Yeah, because I, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna look and buy a costume and then I'll, I'll try and get tailored so it does fit. Um, and then yeah. when I or just somebody it, that knows what they're doing. It's somebody with a sewing machine or an overlock or whatever it is. That, um, yeah, yeah. somebody who can who knows what they're doing and they can fix it up for you. Yeah, yeah. You know. And then I'll, I need to get your your yeah, sonic. Come on, come on, I insist. There's got to be standards here, you yeah. know. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. At these shows, you know, the, 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 there's a dress code. Yeah. You know, when yeah. nothing casual. Yeah. It, yeah. It, anything, too, anything too casual, you don't get in. There. Yeah. That's the house rules. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to choose which one I do. I do get of you, but like, uh, like uh, because. What's your What's your instinct telling you? What would you prefer? Yeah. There's even, there's, even, there's even like a third away strip I've got, like which is a leather jacket, leather, uh, there's a leather jacket, there's an old pea coat um, what, thing. Yeah. What's your favourite one that you've worn? Presently, it's the one that I'm going to... Yeah, the, like, the, 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 one, the one that was in the recent BBC episode. Yeah, yeah the Power of the Doctor, yeah. Yeah, yeah Power of the Doctor. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I like that one. Yeah. 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 I, what I like as well about it... Um, and again, Knights of the Doctor was the same. It looks like it looks like he's been well, literally, he's been in the wars in it. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's you know, it looks like he's he's worked in it, you know. Not yeah. um, sometimes I, I, if I've got any criticism about the the costume in the TV pilot in the movie, it was that it was slightly too pristine. There was something. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying. It was just yeah, something yeah. too sort of new, just part of the story. But it was, you know. But but whereas after he'd been literally in the <laughs> in the wars, it, lo it looked better. You yeah. Know, a few crashes, been through a hedge backwards once or twice. The, the the clothes just looked better, like any other clothes. Yeah, I yeah. I do like I do I I think so too because the the ones that you wore <laughs> in the movie were, were but like like they were a bit like. Not I I like I like them, but I I like I I just like the like I like the one that you wore in the Night of the Doctor and the one that you wore in the uh, so do I. the Power of the Doctor. I just think they're so do I. They're, they're more warry, aren't they? Because they are. You're in the like in the time war kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, my tailor, I I actually have a tailor. I'm so old fashioned, and my tailor in London, um, he, he always years. He's always said the same thing. You know, when it makes me something. He says, here, and he gives it to me. He says, here's your armour. He calls it the clothes of your armour. Yeah. And that's a great way of looking at it. But it means he means it lovingly. But 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 that's it, that's precisely what we're talking about. You know, the, the Knight of the Doctor stuff, the, the, the war doctor period stuff, you know, that's, that looks like armour. It looks like, you know, okay, you know, you, you, you're you going to run about, you're going to do battling, you're going to have adventures in it. That's the point. I think thinking back again to the... To the TV pilot, you, you in fact, you know, we see him literally get up off a slab, don't we? And he has to dress himself. The, 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 you know, he, he begins to take things and dress himself. So of course it's new. You know, he's he's like a newborn trying clothes on for the first time. So that was that. But I think we both agree. You know, we prefer the yeah. the, the, the 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 warry stuff, the armor. Yeah, it's your armor. Yeah, it's it, what it is. It's it's it's. I, I'm gonna have a Doctor Who kind of wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Yeah, you and me both. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because like the, the ones I have at the moment are like I have my tenth Doctor suit, which like the trousers don't fit me. <laughs> like, um, well, like, are they too short or too long? Uh, I'm not sure. They, they, or too wide. Yeah, I think so. Um, and then like. I, what, I, what I want to do is because I want to wear the, the, the Temp Doctor. It won't, I don't know if it will go, it probably won't, but mm. um, it, like the Temp Doctor shirt, like, like like the brown one, and then the trousers of the 14th Doctor because they are kind of similar, aren't they? Like, I don't know if it would go yeah. together. Yeah, um, they're, yeah, they're not dissimilar. Uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, maybe Mason, um, you know, I, I got two 
sons, like I've told you. Uh, and the older one is really interested in clothes. Yeah. Um, down the years, he's learned. His mum made him learn, I think. She she persuaded him or put it in his way anyway. He's learned to make clothes. He's he, he's so interested. In, he's learned to he's learned to sew and he's learned to he's learned to he makes his own jacket or he modifies his own clothes. I mean, you know, um, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just going to uh, leave that with you. It's something yeah. that you can you might love. Try it. Yeah. You know, try try figuring it out. You know, try maybe on, on a shirt that you can. You know, perhaps that you can ruin. It's okay, to, you know, for you to waste it. Try it. You might really like it. You know, yeah. Yeah. do it yourself. Yeah, it's, make do and mend. You know, it's it, 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 it's a nice thing to try, but at the same time, it's nice when people do it for you. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, it, yeah. People have the expertise. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. but to be able to do it yourself is a nice thing as well. It, it, I reckon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I, I do have like like so it, like you like uh, last couple of things before we finish, Paul. Um, you you said that that you haven't met Jody. Is there any other doctors that you haven't met, or is it just Jody? Um, no, just Jody. Just Jody. Yeah. So um, now it's and I've I, and I'm I'm in the habit of telling everyone I've never met her. So now it's become a bit of a thing, mm. you know. Um. And now people are coming up to me going, "Have you met her yet?" Something. Everybody knows I've met. Her. Yeah. So they're probably, they're probably not, most people I meet have met her. They, they've all met the fan. A lot of fans have met her. Yeah. yeah. You know, she goes to shows, but I've never met her. Yeah. Um, probably now, but it'll probably be a bit of a damp squib when it happens. But I probably won't be able to speak because um, <laughs> I admire her so much. I'll probably go. I'll go red in the face and won't know what to say. Yeah. You know, yeah. she'll have to slap me. She'll have to slap me like they do in the old movies. Come on snap out of it you know yeah wake up say something yeah anyway no i really do i look forward to meeting her i think she's fantastic yeah well, yeah i i hope you meet her so i will it's <laughs> it's um it's a, it's a it's a matter of time yeah 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 says the time lord what it is it's it's just a matter of time yeah and it, it, I, it like a lot of the doctors do do these conventions now like a lot of them don't they so um and uh, yeah, like I say, even Chris Eccleston now is doing them. Jody and her turn will do that. You know, has started to do them. Um, maybe not many. You know, there won't be many. I don't do many, but but uh, you know, they'll, they'll 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 select because I think again for reasons we, we we've covered. It's such a blast, you know, and they hear from us and they hear from everybody, you know. Um, you know, there's, there's much less chance now. Of say Jody feeling the way I felt at the beginning of being nervous about going and being being under the impression that it wasn't very nice or something or you know being wary of going, Jody will 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 have known before she she went how fantastic it would be and how everybody was gonna was gonna be kind to her and how, you know what a what a hoot she was gonna have and uh, I'm sure you know I wish yeah. someone had told me a little bit earlier. Yeah. It, 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 it. It, it will be. It, Jody was a great doctor. Like she, I think she was. I think she. Yeah. yeah. In the first, I remember seeing the first five minutes. You know, like, like everybody else had tuned into the first app. And in the first five minutes, I thought, "Yep, she's nailed it. She's complete." Remembering as well, like I was saying before, my own beginning, how nervy it was, and you know, oh God, you know, you, I'm stepping into someone. All them people, you know, looking at me, and now I've got to try and be as good as so and so. She didn't seem to even give that a moment's care. She just came on and was immediately um, everything, everything you wanted. I thought, yeah. and then brilliant actor. She was, and and then 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 and then and then, and then you've got a shooty who's who's who's, who's going to be next. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I again young, proper enough. To go, you know, we need a we need. We, it's about time we had a proper young one. Um, obviously brilliant. Um, every, again, never met him yet to me. Uh, <coughs> um, but watch space, you know, I think we're in, again, and because it's Russell T and because it's him, we're in really safe hands. Yeah. You know, we're going, we're going from strength to strength. Um, you know, there's lots to be excited about and look forward to. Um 
Yeah. And when we meet, like we meet, you know, like like you know, like you and I met, we can have a laugh about it all, you know, and uh, and swap tales. That's what it's all about. That's yeah. what it's for, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's the but, best thing. So when like when the power of the doctor came out, did you watch it with your family, like like knowing that you were going to be on it? No. No, I'm I'm a bit superstitious. Yeah, I'm probably I don't want to speak for my comrades and colleagues, but I I would guess I'm like most actors. Mm. Um, would it surprise you to hear that most actors don't watch things that they're in? Um, yeah. But but it's true they don't. Then some do, but I, and some can watch them perfectly easily and almost dispassionately. I can't. Um, I find it quite tricky to watch stuff I've, I've been in. So no, that's the. Yeah. I didn't. No, I didn't sit around with the family. Um, I, if I do see it, it'll be probably at three o'clock in the morning, about six months from now, when I'm on my own, sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Yeah. But so no, I've not seen it yet. But yeah. then, I've not seen Night of the Doctor either. Yeah. And, or, or, or most of the things I've ever been in. Yeah. Just, but I didn't. I don't need to see him. I was in him. Yeah. But that, that, that's it. That, that's I was it. in him. You know what happens. I um, know what happens. Yeah. But it, it, I was it, there. It must be a treat for you to watch like the 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 other doctors that you weren't in. Like you. That's that, no. That's a good question because that's different. Yeah. Um. But lots of times before now, I've watched things that I'm in, but just not the bits that I'm in because I because I wanted to see what my friends were doing. Yeah, uh, I'll skip the bits that I'm in and watch the scenes that my mates are. In. Yeah, that's I'll do that. Yeah, that's easy. A lot of actors do that. They 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 just they fast forward the bits that they're in and you know. Yeah, because and, uh, because of course when when you shot Power of the Doctor, <coughs> you, you didn't see Jodie, and to everyone else, it looks like you did. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, that's always a lovely surprise. Surprise, like I say, you know, you, you, yeah, that that's different. You know, you want to sometimes you you're just too, even though you might not want to watch yourself if you're an actor, yeah. you're just so curious as to see what the final thing, what it turned out like, what it looks like, um, you know, on the when it's finished. Uh, yeah, and sometimes that's great. It's a great thing to do. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, like I say, when I do it, it'll be at three o'clock in the morning yeah. when I'm on my own. Yeah. I'll, probably be, I'll find the sofa to get behind when I yeah, do it. Yeah. Like, like, that kind of vibe. Like I'm, I'm similar, to Paul. When I, <laughs> when I do like maybe videos or the, 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 the podcast where I know what I've said, um, and I don't, I, I, I find it maybe a bit uncomfortable. Like if I listen to myself or watch myself, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a similar thing. Um, but I know what's going to happen. I might watch it. I need to edit bits or stuff like that. Um, like, like, like you would. Have you have you got used to the sound of your own voice? Yeah? Um, just about. Yeah, just it's about. Still, is yeah. It, is it still tricky? Um, like, like, let's say my mum will play maybe a clip like of me, like maybe I've done a video in in Doctor Who costume or something, and I'll say, but turn it off. I I, I, I don't want to listen <laughs> to me. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you can listen to me some some other time. Uh, but it, it just I don't know I just get uncomfortable like hearing my own voice in other people's presence <laughs> um, but... well that that makes you completely normal in uh, in my book what about seeing pictures of yourself or seeing yourself on film um, yeah I I don't mind that it's just in, oh you don't mind that okay like it, 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 <laughs> it, it, it depends how it turns out I guess um, if I don't like it I'll say I right, just get rid of that I, I don't like that one um, like I, I guess when I do films and videos, it's, it's similar to like maybe yourself or when you're when you're filming yourself. Like like you might get really annoyed sometimes that like maybe mm. takes half a dozen times to get it right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and like I think the bloopers are maybe the funniest bit. Like when you've done it wrong half a dozen times and and then you just you laugh about it now. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, that's the best bit. But I, I, again. It may or may not surprise you to know that you know actors are like everybody else. You know, we, we just could. Most of us don't even like looking at ourselves. We're like everybody else. You know, oh God, is that me? You know, um, 
it, it, just because we're performers doesn't doesn't give you any more, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just like, like I think like like yourself like and and actors. Um, it's it's always important for like like when going to conventions just to treat you with, with you the same thing you would any other person. Um, just ju- just because you, you're known for playing the doctor doesn't mean you don't have feelings. Like um like. Like, oh, okay. uh, well, yeah. Yeah, like, like, don't. I, I always say, don't overbard them with like question after question after question. Just, just have a nice conversation, like me, me and you did. Like, like, just chilled. Like, um, and I think that's the best way to be. Uh, it can be overwhelming for. Yeah, both, I do too. Sides. Yeah, it can. Well, like we say, you know, it, it depends on the atmosphere. It depends on the size of the of the event, the kind of event. But you know. But we know, don't we, you, you and me, that if if you can just, let like you say, chill and get to chat, it's the best thing ever. It's, it is you know. the best thing. We, it's the well, best thing yeah, ever. Yeah. Next time I see you, we'll, we'll just have chat in the next one. Um, but, You're on. Yeah. Um, just one last few things, Paul. Uh, mm-hmm. I just I just want to tell you a fact about like being in, in the compromise that I've got here. Um, and it, it says there's 70 million people in the UK, mm. um, and only a group of 400,000 um, are in a compromise. Um, so 70 million in the UK. That's minuscule. That's yeah, that's, and... that's 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 point something. That's not point something of a percent of the population, right? Yeah, it's that's a minuscule number. Yeah, it's really small, and like pit like I. It's, it's like people with Crohn's may have differences. So, what a little brief description? What that is? A Crohn's is uh, there's no cure for it. So, like mm. it's a disease where it affects your 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 bowel. Like it can get really inflamed. So, like red inside, mm. and it can yeah. be really hard to get diagnosed. Like I didn't know what I had when I was diagnosed in 2017. So I haven't had it all my life. Um, so all oh, right. So it, it, it's not a thing that I was born with. I had it since 2017. So ever since 2017. Forgive um, my ignorance, but but uh, how does one get it? How does one? No, no. Do you do you contract it from? Yeah. No, no. You can't contract it. Um, it's something you just uh, get. For, uh, there's no re- there's right. no there's no reason why you get it. Uh, there's mm-hmm. no you don't know why you have it. Um, and you, so say, it's not it's not it's, it's not a condition not congenital it's not passed down from a parent or a grandparent right right no but it can like in some cases where like I, I no one in my family has it but people in my timeline have had like bowel cancer and, and bowel yeah. problems and yeah. a lot of it is bowel problems um yeah. so so like you can't get it of people like um it's it, it is a rare like it's more common now in, in ways that people are learning about it more. There's a big community out there. Loads of people have it. Like, like loads of people have it, but a small bit are in, severely immunocompromised. Um, Was there a period then where you, your family, perhaps even your GP were unsure um, about, about what was wrong with you? Or what, yeah. I mean, w- w- did, did how long did that go on for? Um, was that weeks and months? Well, I I, I look back <laughs> at the pictures over twenty seventeen. So I got diagnosed a month after my birthday, um, right. and I was very I lost an awful amount of weight. Um, I I looked really different. I almost looked like I was a skeleton, really really skinny. Wow. Um, and what happened was, um, I I stopped eating. I couldn't eat. I it was like it's like this. A stabbing abdominal pain in my stomach that's what it felt like um and what was really hard was that i didn't know what to do like um i didn't know what was happening at the time i thought it was just a sickness bug i literally thought it was just a sickness bug um and at that moment and then lost that weight couldn't eat anything um and then i went to a gp that they didn't know anything either at the time so and then and then do you, is that is, do you, looking back? Do you think that's because of the rarity of it, or, or or the or the small number of people that have it? The GP wasn't used to seeing it or coming across the symptoms. Maybe not. Possibly. I, m- m- maybe not because, like, 
Look, now you 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 you'll say to your person, um, I'll say, do you know what Chrome is? And now I'll get a respond, yeah, I've heard of it. My friend has it. So it's more common mm. now than it was when I was diagnosed. Let's see, no, no one knows of it. And I got diagnosed, Paul, by having a colonoscopy. Yeah. Um. That that's how I got diagnosed. So like like camera down the throat. Yeah. Yeah. Camera the other way around. Um. And I and I literally I was sedated. Um, mm. and I heard well, when they were doing it that it's crimes, it's crimes. I go out of the room when it's done, um, because of course you can't eat when you have a colonoscopy. So, and I and I found steroids and a load of other medication afterwards. Um, uh, that, that's what makes me in you know, a compromise because I, I take medication that cancer patients take. Um, mm. Um, oh, okay. and and so I go out. I tell my mum I've got Crohn's. I don't know anything about it. I just heard the consultant say I've got Crohn's. Then about maybe 10 15 minutes later, after I've eaten my toast, he says you've got Crohn's disease. And I don't know anything about it. I just thought I, at that moment in time I'm not as much pain as I was. Um. So yeah. Uh, and then after that I was on steroids. I, I was on an infusion for a year. Had a bad reaction to that. Um. After that year. Um. And then, yeah, I, 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 and there's a thing called remission in within IBD. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's what is is in this bracket, Paul. Inflammatory bowel disease. So you've got Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis only affects your colon, and the yeah. Crohn's, Crohn's affects like maybe from your mouth all the way down to your the, the bottom of your body. So it affects yeah. a, lot, a lot of you, and that the whole tract. Yeah, the whole tract. Yeah. Um, is it still is it still painful? Are you still having to manage pain? Um, for a while, I haven't had the pain I used to. So um, the like, pain is the pain is from inflammation, presumably. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like inflamed inside of you. Um, it can affect like I've I've like even before Crohn's, I've always had like like my bones would really affect me. So maybe I can walk fast or I just get really achy. Mm. Um, and fatigue, like there's certain things like fatigue, like say um, a person that hasn't got it, they may, they get everyone gets fatigued, right? Like yeah. we, we, we all get fatigued. But for me, to say if I go out for a walk, I'll get in and I'll be shattered. It's, it's almost like I'm really tired. I've done more than I have. Mm. And I'll, I'll go I'll go to sleep. Um, like, and then like for me, I, I, I won't go to sleep at night now because I've, I've, I've had my sleep in the day. And and there was a situation, right, Paul, at college. Uh, I'll just quickly explain it. Um, so we're doing PE, and I we were doing football. Like we we we, we like football, don't we? So um we um um, it was an indoor f- football match, and like I was playing. I like to think that I was really good. Uh, like I, I was one that people mm. would look up to, to pass to me and score. So I was trying my absolute hardest, scoring, like d- getting involved. And then my team g- got to the final, and I and I couldn't do it. Like I, I was almost like I got forced to, because I I, I said to the um I was fix- I was physically tired, I was falling asleep and everything. And then I said to the teacher, I can't do it. I'm that shattered. I, I'm really can't. Um, and then saying this that. They know of my crimes. They know I struggle. And then they, the one thing that they said to me was, um, are you going to let your teammates down? And then I didn't have the strength to communicate to say how I was feeling. So I did do it, but it's, it was forced upon. So th- that's the thing about it. Like, not people don't understand how much it like takes out of you. Well, it's, it's often when people can't see something or yeah. something's not so visible, at least, you know, symptoms even, particularly symptoms, you know, that people sometimes are quick to just be a little bit ignorant that must annoy you actually that must that must that must that must be a real knock you know from time to time yeah um but it's good that you you know that you are so articulate and you can explain you know to people like you're explaining to me now you know what it is i didn't know i didn't know about this thing um is it progressive i mean what what's what's going to happen i mean what's going to happen in the coming years um is it is it is it just a question of it's being maintained at the level that it is you know you 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 remain in pain free and taking the medication is that is that what's going to happen um, well everyone 
it's uh, experience is different. Um, so, yeah. um, so for me, I may take a certain medication. Someone else may not be able to take that medication. It may feel yeah. in a different way. And I think it's all yeah. dependent how far. If you if you get things really quick, if you if you get them quick and like 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 I did, I, I like an like, early stage. Yeah, like an early yeah. stage. Like um, like say like um, like like there's things that can happen where you can get blood when you go to the toilet. And yeah, yeah. not not everyone to hear, not everyone wants to hear about that, huh. um, and like it is hard. Like um, if I share, if it, it, that happened to me, that happened to me. Was, sorry to interrupt. That happened to me. Yeah, and I, yeah, and I was a bit freaked. You know, it's it's not. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's a, quite a scary prospect sometimes for people. If like, yeah, yeah, like me, you catastrophize a little bit about things. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's good we talk about these things. Um, because you know sometimes the alternative if people are going to be quiet um either about you know about, about things that are happening uh, don't they say um i could be wrong but don't they say you know certain types of men generally men more than women tend to you know either turn a blind eye or keep a bit stum about things you know when they probably shouldn't about where their health is concerned yeah. and don't seek help you know it's important that you raise these things and we talk about this stuff it's ordinary you know, yeah. it happens. It happens to people. Yeah, because what, one of the things within Crohn's, it's very fearful. So say if you, if you type Crohn's on the internet, you'll see a lot of people have surgery. A lot of people, yeah. have, a, a lot of people have stoma bags as well. So, <gasps> so, so if the if there's, you have all the medication that you might possibly can have, that's mm. the next step. That, 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 that may be the next step. People has, your, have, has your diet changed? Um, yeah, um, is, is that is that is that been a is naturally you know you've got to obviously you've got to make certain changes yeah. to how you live your life but but what about the diet what about the stuff that you eat is that has that changed considerably yeah. or um, or are you still able to eat the things you were eating before well one you thing, like food yeah I, I've got, yeah i love food yeah um, <laughs> yeah yeah like, me too yeah like one thing i loved beforehand is i, I like every once in a while I would have like a kebab and I would have all the chili mm. sauce over it. I love spicy yeah. foods, but now yeah. that that's one thing that's, that affects like spicy foods. So, um, if I well, did, it aggravates it, you mean it makes yeah, it worse, yeah, yeah, it makes right. it worse. So, so, you can't have it. Well, I, I, I do it in a way where I don't put the chili sauce all over it like I did. Um, so every once in a while, I treat myself like if I about the spicy food, like I like a good curry. Um, yeah. as, as well. Um, also, oh, that's another, a, so really hasn't limited you that much. You can still enjoy the things you were, yeah, like you, you were enjoying before. Like it may be a like there may be a world where you can't eat something. Um, yeah, but 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 sometimes, Paul. Um, sometimes people um can't eat like your so-called good food, like your vegetables. Some people are affected by that. Um, as well. So it it doesn't yeah. have to be like the. The, the night food it may be like the the, the food that are, are supposed to be good for us that we can't eat sometimes yeah so what a drag that would be not to be able to eat vegetables yeah or to, or to, or to suddenly have to stop you know, yeah eating vegetables yeah that would yeah. do my head in yeah no. same here um and i can't have caffeine i, I can't drink really caffeine. No. <gasps> no. i'm not like i hope you don't Mind watching me drink caffeine. I, yeah. I'm I'm a caffeine fiend. Yeah, in this I, house. I, I, did, I. Did you drink it before? Did you enjoy it before? Yeah, I, I, I had it. I, I had it quite a lot. Um, and I was. What like, is it? What is it about caffeine? It just, it just, it just irritates you. It just, re, yeah, it, you just react to it. Yeah, I do yeah, and but the thing oh. is, I will, I will have things that are non, not caffeinated. So hmm. like, I'll have decaf coffee. I'll have decaf yeah. maybe, maybe coke. Decaf, like it's it's really cool. You you might not see this. You know you know Seven Up, yeah. Like Seven Up. You, you might go in the shop and buy it, but actually it, on the can it doesn't say in clear writing that it's hasn't hasn't got caffeine. But if you look at the little writing on the back of the can, it yeah. says it's not caffeinated. Always so, a good idea, yeah. incidentally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I still have stuff. To me, they don't taste any different, probably because I've known it for a long period mm. of time. But but yeah, that that. Like, but the thing is, like about Crohn's, it doesn't. There's so many. It could be a lesson because there's so many different things. So you've got fatigue, you've got a diet. Not not everyone is affected by diet. Um, I don't believe because like people take like supplements 
um i don't believe like like like, like people out there have it like i think that it's maybe cured but it's not mm. it, it, it's ne- it's never going to be that way but you can do things to prevent it to prevent doing things like being active um yeah. try, 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 trying to go out and do much as you can um what are your energy levels like now these days are, are you are you, do you, do you still do you feel they're pretty good or do you feel do you feel that they're still a little bit under or um a bit better these last like a few months uh, it, oh. it, it's, it's been better like just doing more getting to mm. do more like like starting to go to these conventions which i'm learning to love <laughs> like like now like, <laughs> yeah, yeah what's well, not to love yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> like these last couple of years, I've been thinking about doing them, and then I do it, and it, and I like I'm ringing prior to the event, saying I'm in the compromise. How can we make this a bit easier for me? Uh, mm. Like, 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 um, like you, 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 you might have noticed I, I was wearing my mask like prior to coming to see you, Paul. Yeah. Um, and then I, I take it off as soon as I as I get to the guest. Um, and then it, in a way, it's good because people look, look at you like you're affect, affected or something. So they, they, they'll stay back um, and then you'll go through. Um, because Well, I suppose that's one of the the effects of having lived, uh, us all, I mean, having lived through COVID um, and the lockdowns and all the protocols um, that people now, it's not, you know, think back, it's only five, six years ago. Nobody knew this stuff. Or it's you know, or, or, or you, you you it was rare to see anybody on the street or, or out in public with a mask on, so you know, there's that. I suppose people are more are more used to, you know, uh, accepting people. You know, um, that that some people might be might have a problem or be immunocompromised. Um, I mean, even even the expression immunocompromised, it wasn't a word. I've heard the word a lot in the last few years, but I must admit it it wasn't it wasn't an expression that one was used to hearing. Yeah, before much before 2019, um, and now it's now everybody understands what it means, you know. So uh, in a small way, I think that's yeah. that's been that's been good, you know. That if yeah. you know for for people the likes of yourself, you know, it's uh, yeah, that's that's one slight advantage. Because and it's about like, like I love when they they brought in like the, the social like 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 having your meters away from people because yeah. uh, like because you 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 don't know if someone else has got like an illness like a little illness. Like like a little cold can like for me for my low immune system could be yeah. like really hard to fight off. Um, so I always and, say- and also and that's right. And also the very the, the very idea that it's not it's not it's just as much for the the, the other person. I'm wearing this for you as yeah. well as for me. You know, I'm maintaining this distance. I'm wearing this mask. It's you know, it's it's a communal thing. That's what it's for. You know, I'm doing you a favor. You know, so uh, so when people sometimes would get a little bit impatient, you know, they, they they need to remember that people have learned that. I think most people, anyway, have learned yeah. that. Yeah, you know, um, it's like it like when we were the lockdown, it was almost like maybe people could feel like how I've been feeling these last years, anyway. Like I've yeah. been, I've been isolated, not to do things, and you could see how it was affecting people, like mentally. Like, yeah. uh, like like that but it, mm. in, in my point of view is that it's it's no different for me i've been i've been used to that for, the, for a long, long time and and then but yeah like it's just like i guess people feeling what it's like in your shoes in, in a way no bad thing no bad thing at all you know uh and i know it's not the same thing but he, but 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 it's it, in, in the same spirit you know one of my sons is um well, there's no other word for it. He's an, he's he's introverted, you know, fantastic. I mean, he's, we are we're either introverted or extroverted, or whatever it is. But um, but he's an introvert, one of life's introverts. And when the lockdown started, particularly the first one, and the streets were still empty and the cars had stopped, and you know, and he turned to me and his mum and said, "Welcome to my world," you know, um, and. Um, it hadn't occurred to, and you know, because we were suddenly missing, we were missing the parties and the vibe and our friends and everything else. Where he he was completely all right with it, you know. So, like I say, small mercies, but you know, they they did and do still exist. You know, things bad things can sometimes have, um, you know, a, a good effect as well. And you know, it can yeah. it can teach it can teach people things. Yeah, you know, that... it, can, it, it can it can open people's eyes. You know, yeah, I think 
yeah that, and, 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 it, and if there's one lesson is that you know we're all connected yeah. um i mean physically in this case you know that's you know you're immunocompromised mm -hmm. that affects me yeah if, if you're going to be if you're going to be with me or next to me or meet me then you know i'm i'm with you in it yeah you know it's um you know you're not alone yeah far from it you know you, you because we're sociable creatures we're sociable beings it's so important that it's important for morale it's important for you know for our lives for our happiness you know that we yeah. that we and, and it's important for you that you get out to as many of these things and you know keep just normalize things as much as you can you know yeah. that's important so when are we gonna when are we gonna meet again physically then come on um, when do you when do you um, when are we gonna have this costume off yeah that's what i'm looking forward to you and me yeah but you, you, when you have like are, are, are you have a few pictures like uh, where, 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 when you put it on yeah 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 you, you, you have to like pull you have to you, you have to email me a, a, a couple like, i tell you what when, I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna email you from the fitting you'll be the yeah. first to know right you have yeah. to keep it private yeah you know? of course just for you but i'll send you tomorrow when i go for this fitting i'll i'll get the tailor to take a little shot and i'll send it to you yeah. you can see you yeah. can see uh you can see what i look like or at least what i'm i'm going to look like it might only be half finished sometimes you you have a fitting and, and you know the thing hasn't got the lining in it or it's only it hasn't it's missing a sleeve or something they just want to see if it fits you know but whatever it is i'll send you i'll send you the picture you can see what i mean yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have to send me it, and yeah, oh, well, I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, and then on. and then whenever you uh, and then when, when, when we go to the next, and then <laughs> when I go to the next one that you're at, or, or or one that you're at this year, I'll definitely um, I'll we'll, we'll have this photo off with our costumes. Definitely, definitely, yeah. de definitely, definitely proper. It'll proper, be a proper yeah. one, and we'll put it in a yeah. frame. Yeah. But listen, it's been fantastic it talking to you. It um, has. It has. And maybe, um, you know, and, and, and um, of course, I send love and wish you all the best, of, you know, all the luck in the world. Maybe we should do it again. We should do this again in a six months or a year's time. And, you know, because um, yeah. there's, you know, being the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who, there'll be stuff happening. Um, but, you know, let's do it again. Let's Let's vow to do this again. Yeah. Some, you know, m months from now, and we yeah. can swap tales, and we can talk about what's happened in the interim, and um, I'll have been places, you'll have been places. We've probably yeah. been to the same places yeah. once or twice, and uh, uh, to be how, continued. How, how, how about? I'd like that. How, how about because this episode, as, as we speak today, is going to be released on the, the November the twenty third. So, yeah. um, how about we 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 were. Like because months from now, really at the moment it's the twenty first of June. Um, at the moment, the time of recording. But, Happy solstice. Yeah, yeah. There um, you go. And then, like, how about uh, because it'll be months till like no, it's only November's only around the corner. Really, it's yeah, not. It's... it's not that far away. Um, it's which I think is a really good episode for the sixtieth anniversary. But uh, mm -hmm. how how mm -hmm. about how about maybe at the start of twenty twenty four. Or or, or 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 maybe after the first series of series fourteen is there. Why don't we do that and then yeah. we can? Yeah, we yeah. can talk about it. We, 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 Let's we do can, it. We, You're we, on. We can do our thoughts of it, can't we? That, that, we I can. Think, I think that would be great. Swap um, intelligence, swap yeah. tales, and, and even Paul, even because we have both our costumes, we we, we have them before then. <laughs> we, we I know what you're going to suggest. Yeah, we can okay. wear them, can't we? Can't we, we, we? We can put them on. <laughs> well, you put the top half on. You're like a news no, no. reader. Yeah, yeah. You can you can have your shorts on underneath. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, as yeah. long as you got the top half on. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, we don't need Look shorts. Up. We can't we can't see the bottom half. Um, no, <laughs> but um, but um, I, exactly. I just, I, I just want to say, Paul, it's been it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Likewise, um, um like you're 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 very like rare kind person to do something like this because um, like being a doctor, being a really nice person overall, is it? I think um, I'm super happy that, that 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 you wanted to come on my podcast today. Well, you asked me. Yeah, I did. Um, That's why. Yeah, but 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 not every time when you ask someone they 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 want to or they they, they have time to to do something like this. But well, that it, might be true. But yeah. it's also true that if you don't ask, yeah, it's not it's not going to happen. No, anyway. it's not.
It's you're very good. you're a very persuasive person as well. Yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, like I, 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 I gave you the letter and then you took it home. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, there, there Listen, we are. but I've enjoyed yeah. talking to you very much. Um, yeah. thanks, till thanks, the Paul. next till the next time. Yeah. See, right. see you next time. Thanks, Paul. What a pleasure. See you. <laughs> Bye, Mason. Bye.